Hi, I'm Kevin Greenway from Tenzig. I'm here in sunny Orlando, Florida for the Citrix Summit. And uh, we're, we're at our booth and we're demonstrating a really cool new feature from uh, Citrix, which is browser content redirection using an experimental feature with Chromium uh, Engine Foundation. So we have uh, the, the Tenzig 5948QC here. This is a Citrix uh, ready cert certified product. It supports triple display 4K. Uh, with, as you can see, a plethora of uh, different USB ports. This particular platform runs on our NOS platform where we integrate the Citrix Workspace app for Linux. And this particular version that we're running on here is the latest 1912 version that came out just, uh, just before the end of 2019. So, um, just to talk about use cases of browser content redirection or BCR, for those of you that remember the HDX flash redirection, it's a very similar concept where you're shifting the, the graphical workloads from a, a browser session from the virtual machine towards the endpoint. So why would you do that? So reasons that you would do that is if you don't necessarily have any graphics uh, horsepower in, in the back end, so in the data center or the cloud, uh, if you've got a use case where lots of users are going to these sessions at the, at the same time, then you want to be able to move that, uh, that, that workload or that processing power and the graphics overhead from the virtual machine towards the endpoint. Another use case, which is really good for the example that we have at the, at the show here, is where the, the virtual machine is uh, in the cloud and we have direct access to the internet here. So, Essentially, what browser content redirection will deliver is that where we go to something like YouTube, that content is delivered directly to the endpoint. Um, so, better use of bandwidth. We're not uh, pulling down through the cloud or through the data center and then remoting that to the endpoint. So, let's go into the demo. The first demo we're going to give is going to Firefox. We're specifically using Firefox here with the fact that Firefox. Uh, doesn't offer support for, for the BCR feature. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to a, uh, a nice heavy 4K video trailer here. Costa Rica in this case. Let's just let the, uh, the ad play through. And whilst we're doing that, let's bring into view top, which is the the task manager on the 5948QC and we'll also bring in task manager on the, uh, the virtual machine where we can see the overhead on the, on the VM. So here we can see again because of the fact that we're not leveraging browser content redirection the CPU consumption on the virtual machine is sitting around 33 to 34 percent and obviously that will vary depending on how many uh, vCPUs we've assigned to the, the, the VM and if we drill down into that in more detail in the details tab we can see that it's uh, mostly made up of the Citrix graphics process so the remoting in the, the encoding process and also then Firefox we, we are fortunate enough here that we have a, a vGPU uh, enabled VM uh, and then if we shift towards the 5948QC we can see that the CPU consumption is, is very, very low. Um, in this case, we're just dealing with the, the graphics remoting. So again, it's the WFICA.real process and we're decoding that in the graphics hardware in the 5948QC. So that's Firefox as a demo. Now let's switch out to something like Google Chrome, which does offer support for, for BCR. So if we go to Chrome, we'll notice here in the, in the top right of the browser, we have the, the browser redirection extension, and that illuminates dependent on whether the BCR functionality is, is enabled or not. Um, so we've configured Citrix policies to say that if we go to YouTube, then we'll in effect enable the, the BCR functionality. So we're gonna go to, to that same set of clips that we just previously went to with Firefox. We'll go to identical video clip, and this is where we'll see exactly the shift in terms of workload from, in this case, the virtual machine towards the 5948QC. So as we can see now, let's skip the ad so that we go to exactly the same piece of video. So here we can see that the CPU consumption is, is between one and 2%. We've completely moved that workload from the VM towards the, uh, the 5948QC. Under details, we can see, again, 
very little going on. A small amount of um, graphics encoding uh, for anything outside the, the browser the viewport here. And uh, again, if we look at the task manager now towards the 5948QC model, we can see it's pegging anywhere between 50 to 60%. This is a quad core model, so we can, we can essentially uh, consume up to around 400% in, uh, in the task manager. And here we can see the web container processes that are responsible for the Chromium Engine Foundation. So, so just in summary, really cool feature from, from Citrix. We're really enjoying demoing this, this new feature at the show and uh, we welcome you to join us and, and hope you have a great show. It's Dan Swadron from Tenzig Technology here at Citrix Summit 2020. Uh, today we're going to demonstrate our Citrix uh, Teams optimization uh, for uh, Citrix Ready app. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to give Kevin Greenway, our CTO, a call. He's on his way back from a session right now, so we're going to give him a call over Teams uh, over the internal Wi-Fi here uh, in, in the Summit. Uh, so let's give him a call and we're going to take a look at the uh, enhancements that, uh, that we get with the Citrix Ready uh, app for Teams. Let's give him a call. So the first thing to notice is that we have in the title bar there that we have the optimized uh, version of Teams for Citrix. Hey Kevin, how you doing? All right. So uh, the next thing we'll, we'll take a look at is we can notice that the Teams uh, executable in Task Manager uh, is consuming uh, zero CPU. So what we're going to do, and that's on the VM. So let's take a look at the local thin client, and we're going to disconnect from the VM. minimize our virtual session and take a look. And we can see the HDX Teams executable is actually handling all the processing and the offload onto the local end client. So this is gonna give your customers uh, and your uh, users the most optimal experience because the thin client is actually handling all of the, the offload of the devices. All right, Kevin, so great talking to you and have a great rest of the show at Summit.